Kia ora unicorns, how you doing? I hope that you're keeping safe and well in these uncertain times. Today's video is a little bit different than usual. We are going to eat like another YouTuber. And today's YouTuber will be the one and only Lily Koi Hawaii. Quick disclaimer, this is just for fun, just to try some different recipes and shake things up a bit. This is not intended to be taken as nutritional advice and I'm certainly not claiming that Lily's style of eating is superior or how you need to eat. So if you have any concerns about your own nutrition, then please go and see a qualified and registered dietitian, which I am most certainly not. I will add Lily's original What I Eat In A Day video in the description. So if you would like to go check that out, then that will be below. And without further ado, unicorns, let's get started. So I started the night before by making up my lunch for the following day, which was of course tofu poke. Lily has a separate recipe video for this on her channel, so I will link that below. I did follow the recipe, however, I was missing coconut aminos, so I used soy sauce instead. A couple of other things I was missing I just left out. These include spring onion, some seaweedy flaky things she had, and sesame seeds. But what I did do was I chopped up a block of firm tofu, added the soy sauce and sesame oil, gave it a stir so it was well coated, and then I added in fresh garlic, red onion, and left that overnight to marinate. And here's some mandatory doggo footage before I went to bed that night. And then that morning before I went to work, I threw together the kale salad, which will be included in both lunch and dinner. I removed the leaves from the stalk of the kale, then I added the juice of half a lemon before massaging it into the kale. I then added some red onion and half a capsicum, gave it a toss before adding some sweet chilli sauce. I then split it into two portions, one for lunch and one for dinner. Then when I got to work I made this absolutely gorgeous smoothie. It had three bananas, turmeric, ginger, blueberries, flax seeds, molasses, pomegranate juice and water. That is really nice. I did forget to put the black pepper in, which is supposedly makes the turmeric absorb better. But oh well, that is really, really nice. I love ginger, which is why I put quite a big chunk in. So obviously if you don't like ginger, put a small chunk, but oh, that is good. I'm definitely gonna make this smoothie again. Mm. I did put um, pomegranate juice instead of cranberry juice. In the video, Lily uses cranberry juice, but the only cranberry juices I could find have sugar or like an artificial sweetener. So I went for pomegranate because it was just pomegranate juice, no sweeteners, nothing added to it. So I much prefer that. And also I'm going to be making pomegranate kombucha later in the week. So it made sense to just use that for this as well. But anyway, that is breakfast and it is delicious. So I'm going to continue working and have that while I'm working. Mm -hmm. Lunch time has arrived, which I'm actually like so excited for. So hiding under there is a kale salad. Um, we've got some sweet potato, which I've just warmed up. 
Hiding under here is a heap of chickpeas, avocado, and then from Lily's channel, she has a tofu hoke recipe, which I have here. I just have not put the um, spring onions in because I just didn't have any. Um, and I don't have any dolph flakes, so she had dolph flakes on hers. But other than that, this is pretty much, what are you doing avocado? Get back in your place. <laughs> This is pretty much exactly what she had on her day of eating. Um, I think she had a really busy day, so this is obviously quite a bit smaller of a salad than what she would normally have. But yeah, all good. I'm really excited for this. So let's just dig right in. Mmm, love tofu. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll see you for the next meal. It's really cloudy outside now, that's why it's so dark. <coughs> Lily had herself a plate of banana and starfruit. I could not find starfruit anywhere in New Zealand. So, I mean, not anywhere in New Zealand, but anywhere within my home city. So, I have persimmon instead, which happens to be my favorite fruit. Dinner. This is actually the whole reason I chose this particular day of eating from Lily because I freaking love potatoes, hummus, and salad. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that because there is endless photos of those three together and also those three separate or with other things because they're just my go-to foods. I love them, especially potatoes. I am the potato queen. So we are going to have potatoes, although Lily called them fries but Lily these are not fries these are, these are like roasties or like potato quarters I don't know what to call them they're not fries Lily girl what are you up to so we've got potatoes she put some curry on them I don't know exactly what she put on them but she said they were curry fries so I put on them curry paprika and a bit of nutritional yeast and then I made some homemade hummus oil free of course and then we have made the kale salad that I made earlier in the day, so I've got the leftover of that ready to serve up. And yeah, let me just show you how I made everything and I'll show you me planning it up. And yeah, let's do that. To make the curried potatoes, I'm just going to chop up the potatoes into little bite-sized pieces and sprinkle them with paprika, nutritional yeast and curry powder. I'm then going to bake them for 50 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. For the hummus into a food processor, I chucked one tin of chickpeas, including the brine one clove of garlic, two large tablespoons of tahini, the juice of half a lemon, paprika, cumin, and chili flakes. And then I blended it till it was smooth. What an absolute mess. <laughs> That's atrocious. Mine just doesn't look anything like as pretty as hers. I don't even, I don't think I made this, the kale the same as hers because it just doesn't look the same. Maybe I'm using a different type of kale. Maybe, maybe she didn't use curly leaf. And someone tell me, how do people lay out their avocados and it looks so beautiful? I can never get it right. But oh well, this looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to eat it, so yes. If you got this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Do drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this style of video. I would love to hear from you. Love you guys so much. Please stay safe and well. And I'll see you in the next video, unicorns. Kakite.